This screencast shows how you can use the Kramer's Kronig consistency to check the validity of your data. If you've opened up a project and have data in here, the analysis menu becomes live and you can click on KK consistency. The top plot shows the Nyquist plot, the bottom one is the Bode plot. At the moment they're just showing raw data. The KK consistency is described in chapter 6 of the Zedman software and it also lists the equation that it uses. In the Zedman software you should choose the interpolation density and when you're ready to run you click calculate. This is the time taken and if an error has occurred this will light up. You can see in the plots now the KK interpolated data has appeared. In the Nyquist plot the raw data are the black circles whereas the KK data are the red circles. In the Bode plot your raw data is the white circles whereas the KK data is the blue and red circles. To check the validity of your data you can look at the difference between your raw data and the KK data by looking at the residual plot. This shows the frequency on the x-axis and the residual data on the y-axis. Normally lower peak-to-peak -peak amplitude shows you've got better quality data.